Hey Internet, hey YouTube, this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan, but please never call me Nathaniel. Welcome back to Octopath Traveler. This is going to be the third episode. Um, and what I've decided is I'm going to be doing uh, the five episodes. Honestly, they're continuing to get less and less views, but so be it. I'm going to do the five episodes, then I'll do a five-hour playthrough review, or a five-hour review, and, uh, and then I'll just play on my own, and maybe do a final review of the game when I'm finished with it. But anyway... Let's not waste any time. Let's continue on our journey here. We just finished fighting the Pirates of Ripple And uh, we now have two characters. And my understanding is, based on the feedback I got some from some people, is that, uh, or from some comments, is that, in fact, uh, their stories are intertwined. You just get to have these characters kind of travel around with each other. So let's see. We are... What is our current quest here? We're gonna go home to read our notebook. Okay, fair enough. We might actually have enough money to buy some upgraded stuff as well, which would not be bad. Particular, in particular, the better spear would be sick, but looks like we're not going to be able to afford it. And everything else we have, so uh, okay, easy enough. Wait a minute, we could try selling some things. We did buy some things that, oh, actually, this is uh, worse. So don't buy things. This is the uh, this is the thing I learned. <laughs> uh, sure, we can sell this. We can sell this. Okay. Well, there you go. Let's continue. Go home. Do our cutscene. Within that book were the records of a traveler who had journeyed to the far ends of the realm. Spellbound, Tressa forgot time and read every one of his adventures. Man, my other dude be bored out of his mind waiting for this girl to read her book. This world is brim and I know what I'm searching for is so, well, But the real treasure the is all of the friends she'll make along the way. Seven to be exact. It's weird that they're just gonna kinda like silently observe each other's you know, life goal That's fulfillment. Seven. All right, time for the tough discussion. Whoa! Are you insane? There's no world beyond Ripple It's a myth. Oh my! Just think about what you're saying. Oh, parents, always stifling our dreams. <laughs> Silly parents. You need at least two more years. That's five. Yes, yes, yes. Arguments, schmarguments. Let's get going. Besides, I'll get all kinds. <sighs> There's no point in trying to stop you now, Tressa. Well, that was easy. You have my blessing. <laughs> oh. Wife's not so convinced. That, in the end, being a good merchant boils down to experience. I kind of agree with that. I think it's true of most professions, just like get experience. I don't know that how traveling throughout the world will necessarily make her a better merchant, especially when it's going to be more combat focused, but still, I mean, it's not, it's not a terrible idea. Yes, yes, yes. Sacred light of blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Ma. Thanks, Pa. Let's get out of here. I guess I could just skip, but... I feel like that's the same voice as the little kid. After all, you're our number one in Way to guilt him. Gosh. Parents and guilt. Stifling dreams, guilting kids. Will there be no end to this madness? So now I get to think I think I get to pick who is in the lead. Head east out of town. Oh wait, there's a treasure chest here. How did I not even see that before? Am I just blind? Am I blind? Okay, so now can we finish the chapter? This journal? I get to fill up the other half! Another... It's like it was meant for me. Yes, I'll just have to I'll write down everything. From the next chapter... Honestly, if she did write down everything, I think she would end up detracting from the book. Journey on until every last page is filled. Like you could spend 
you know, 100 pages writing about nonsense, you know. Today we saw a bug. It was round, black, it was missing a leg. We watched it for a good 30 minutes while it made its way through the forest. Like, you could, you can fill up a book, like, come on. My adventures as a merchant are just beginning. I'll start by following in the footsteps. A nameless traveler. I wonder if that will be part of the quest, is like, we'll figure out who it was. And it was like, her dad, or some evil person, maybe. So now, now we're on to, okay, we cleared hers. I guess we now go on to the next place, Cyrus. Recommended level seven. We just like make a loop, right? Hers is 22, his is 27. Okay, so let's just make a loop. We'll go to Cyrus next. Oh, you're about to get wrecked, my friend. We surprised you. Here I, go. I didn't want to flee. Gosh dang it, controller. <laughs> Can't tell the difference between over and up. I mean, it's fine. How, what's our level right now? She's six. We want her to be level seven, it says. Okay, well, can we get... How do we... How do I get over there? Alright, let's beat some fools. Got him. Battle is truly joy. <laughs> Break. Ouch. Ouch. Is... Get wrecked. There we go. Let's do this. Got him. Get wrecked. She is actually quite sh like she quits hard. She hits quite hard. Is what I'm trying to say. She's also almost up a level, so we're we're almost there. How do I? I guess I have to get over there some other way. Can I, can I go this way? No. Where are we? Oh, we're going up this way now. What's down that other path? I should probably go check that out first. Victory shall be mine. Cool. Now. Let's beat this person first. Get dead, jerk. Oh. Dead. Excellent. Should be almost enough to level up. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna check out what this. I think this path just goes straight to a treasure chest. Not bad. An olive of life. Whoa, lots of dudes. Okay, uh, we have no SPs. Uh, easy enough. We just, uh, stop. Do this. Cool. Let's do this. Um, get stunned. Ow. Get dead. And get, whoops. Whoopsies. The battle is truly joy. Dead. My turn now. And dead. No. Cool. Alright. So far, again, easy fights. We seen uh old Barrick, I think is his name. To level up. Also, uh can we go back this way? Oh my gosh, super secret. Maybe? Undertow Cave. Danger level 45. Um, nope. Hey, we spotted some money though. Okay, secret spot. I There's zero chance we remember this, but uh, good to know there's a secret spot. Alright, let's get in here. You were caught by surprise. Well, that was not great. Alright, we're gonna focus on this jerk first. Should be just one more hit to get him. Ow. Getting body bashed like a fool here. There we go. And then we can smack this guy for all he's worth. Get smacked. You jerk. Get smacked, you jerk. 
Excellent. Got him. Got him. Keep making our way. Alright, that's the way to the treasure chest. Let's go that way first. We surprised our foe! Get surprised, fool! Uh, yeah, do that. And then, if we're gonna... Honestly, if we're gonna, like, have a chance to do it next turn anyway... I'm a big fan of just, like, smacking this guy. Hit him. Got him. Hit. Okay. Get him. Nice! Flawless victory. Cool, we almost uh, leveled up again. Get ourselves a treasure chest. I do like how there's a run button missing in many, many games. Good old run buttons. One thing I liked about Chrono Trigger, Chrono Trigger also had a run button, which was sick. Also liked how Chrono, I think, yeah, Chrono Trigger also had the, uh, where you could actually see the enemies. They weren't just like random hidden encounters, which is also pretty cool. Big fan of that. Um, let's spear this guy. Cool. This should kill him. And then hit again. Unfortunately, we're not going to attack first here. Ow. Got him. And leveled up. We have SP again. Also a big fan of games that uh, feel, uh, heal you to full when you have uh, leveled up. A fortifying nut. Okay, we're almost to Cyrus. East at Lasdem Flats. We keep getting more money. Look at that. Do we get money just like everywhere? That's kind of cool. Oh my gosh. We have frogs. Um, I will cut you down. They are not vulnerable to uh, swords. They are not vulnerable to spears. This makes things a little awkward. How about bows? They are vulnerable to bows. Got him. Get wrecked. Cool. Got him. Take that, frogs. Okay, so we're gonna need a new attack type because uh, these frogs, they're not messing around. Um, yeah, no secrets that way. Okay. Right oh, this is like a fancy frog. Victory shall be mine. Um. We might actually be able to kill this frog here. Oh, close. My turn now. Victory. Oops. My bad. Now we're gonna hit double. From frogs. Kill this one. Oh, not quite. Got him. Frog's gonna hit us again. Are our characters just very slow? Is that the problem? Get wrecked. Dead. Excellent. Okay. She's. Oh, they're both pretty far from leveling up now. We actually got a lot of EXP there, though. I assume this castle is how we get to Cyrus. Oh! Alright, let's try a uh, super attack again. Get hit! Nothing. No vulnerabilities. 
now. Spear. No. Bows. Um, bow. Okay. Maybe we're just going to keep using this, I think. We could try using Thousand Spears for fun. Oh, it works on the ants. Kill this ant. Dead. And die, pig. Yeah. Got him. Dead. Okay. I think we made it to the town now. Time for another story beat. Are you asking for a challenge? Nah. What can we buy from you? A sprightly earring. I mean, that seems actually pretty good. Uh, let's rest. I wonder what this person has. I wonder if they're like a bow person here. Because they've been like sharing a thing every time. I cannot fight the children. What do you have for weapons? A rod and an arcane glaive. Uh, it's definitely better than what they have. It's a little bit slower. I think we're just going to give it to Teresa, though. Well, I, it's better for both of them. Um, oh, wow. Uh, two circlets, please. So two circlets. Cool. Then... A sturdy shield. I think we just keep what we have here. And we're going to get... Yeah, I think we're going to get both of these. And then we can sell our other spears. We now have no money. This is our life. Um, do we have anything worth... Oh my gosh, this refreshing gem. It's worth a lot, but it would be like all of our money. Uh, increases elemental attack. I don't know if these are actually... I'm, I'm never like one to use these kinds of things. In uh, RPGs. Hello. Oh, hey! Restore reputation. Hear a tale. Equipment. So we could have her be in front, I guess? I don't know what that does. Uh, travel on. What do you do? We could challenge these people to duels. We would get money for that, as well as experience. Holy cow, that guy's tough. Let's let's do it. Let's do a couple duels. I don't have... Well, uh, we have still a little bit of time. Alright, let's do it. It's a good day for How about you? Start with the spear. Okay, weak to the spear. Good to know. How about you? I'm gonna try to... be fuddling dust. How about you? Okay, now you're stunned. Now we're gonna really hit you. Okay. Now. Two. He's gonna kill me. Oh, he killed me. Well, I, I kind of greeted there. I didn't really need to... Uh, So resting does not increase your uh, SP. Oh, it does. Let's try fighting this guy. Let us fight with honor. 
Okay. Sword. Okay. Holy crap! I think we uh I think we do this. And then I use a super attack. Okay. Ow. Let's use a healing grape. Break his guard. Then, hit him with one of these again. Okay. No worries. Um, this seems very dangerous. I'm gonna healing grape. And then we'll just hit him some more. Yeah, this guy's like so much freaking hitch points. Um, please? Don't die. Don't do peerless strike. Perfect. Do a regular attack. Love to see it. Hopefully we earn enough money that it was worth this. Do this again. Excellent. Break him down. Break him down. Cross strike. Get smacked. Oh my gosh. Defensive posture. Uh, we could abide. Okay. Victory. Got him. So big break. We cannot cross strike. Okay. Uh, just hit him again. Now. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use a healing grape. Kind of expected that. Let's uh, use a bide. Okay. Get hit. Oh my gosh. My goodness, this guy. <laughs> he still got us. Holy crap. How does that guy do so much damage? I guess we do have a pretty crappy sword. And that's all we were hitting him with was a sword. Well, that was not ideal. Um, This guy was a spear dude, though. I feel like he we should be able to kill. Oh. No. We're gonna try this guy one more time. Because we were hitting him for a lot more. Is he spear weak? We're gonna go... Abide. Okay, here we go. Big attack. Okay. Good. Now we heal. Then we use abide. Got him. And get him. Hit him one more time. This is going much better. Still kind of sketch, but it's going much smoother. We just got our enough money to buy all these healing grapes and uh, rest back. Did not work. Love to see that. Uh, abide. Okay. 
I don't know if it's actually worth doing a bide, but... I think we go... I think we go with... If we just do a three attack here... And then we do a two attack next turn. Whew, he's gotta be close. Do a big hit next turn. Oh my gosh, this guy's still going at it. Okay, let's heal up. Guy's tough. Dang it. Got him. Got him. Oh my gosh! Get him! Oh my gosh! This guy is so uh... He's tough! These guys are tough! Okay. Maybe we're getting closer now? Ow! Okay, we gotta break him. Get to hit him. We have one more grape. Get him! Oh my gosh! Oh crap. Okay, we gotta use our last healing grape. Oh, that was a much better healing grape. Crap. Just, just hit him. Got him. Okay. Gotta go for one last big one. Come on. Oh my gosh, we beat him. Holy crap. We only got 120, but we got a ton of experience points for that. Again, not sure if that was worth it. I don't know how much these uh, things cost. Let's go buy some... Uh... No, let's go find the uh, item stuff. Let's go buy some grapes. Yeah, probably not worth it. Let's buy, uh... Six again. Yeah, it seems like that was not worth it. Hello there. Okay, Royal Palace is north. Alright, here we go. New guy. His name is Cyrus and he's a scholar. This is Atlas Den. Nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands, it is home to the Royal Academy, where many scholars study day and night to bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to all the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the Great Library, devouring tombs to his heart's content. It is in the library where he learns of a grievous theft, certain that one of his follower, fellow scholars is the culprit. Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man in his shadowy subterranean study. He will use wise allies in the path he has chosen. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out a story. And so it was that Atlas... Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on... Interesting. But there was another city-state with a history as long... Whoa, only eight years ago. Oh, that's right, because that was the, when the king died. <laughs> Come on, Teresa. No. You got this. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. Come on, Teresa. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look at Yes, Professor. They already wrote books about the fall of whatever the place is called. I believe it was... Hornburg, yes. That is correct. Hornburg was ruled over by a royal family. Yes, yes, yes. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the flat. Who can tell me how many? 
This must be the... Oh, the princess. Princess Mary. Correct. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatland. Change this is this is not so interesting. I don't care. At the time. Okay, here we go. Ironically. Oh. Come on, Cyrus. Get to the action. Don't forget to read. And be prepared. Yes. Pre this is going to be like the uh, Indiana Jones of this story. Actually, no, he's not a treasure hunter, though. He's just a scholar. Man, innuendo in this game. <laughs> she wants some personal tutoring after. Hello? Hello. Seems that today's your lucky day. You've been granted special permission to enter the special archives. Holy crap, we get to go to the archives. Splendid. Finally, I can be begin my research. Good. Let's research. Uh, the library is inside the palace. I'd better make haste. Oh, whoops. I accidentally held down the button too long, I think. What's his special skill, I wonder? What can you do? Greeting. No. Nothing yet. That's you. Okay. Um, we're going to go down here. Oh, hey! Teresa. <laughs> Profess! Professor Alb oh, whoa. All the ladies like Professor Albright. <laughs> oh, thank heavens you're still here. I thought I'd missed you. Your what can I do for you, Your Highness? The truth if you can spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of, of course. course, your highness, it would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm -hmm. After all, my role as your tutor is as important as to me as any of research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Indeed. Yes, Professor, it will not take long. I was just wondering where, what about the ancient religion of Hornburg? Pray tell, what did they worship? Very a very astute question, your highness. However, I fear that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when the Hornberg fell. This is so much... I, what, you really came to do this? I wonder if this is supposed to, like, mirror a specific thing in, uh, history, or if this is just, like, totally made up. But there have been library burnings in the past. So Teresa likes him. That's why she gets so nervous. The princess and him get along really well. It's gonna be like revealed that she's like the one who's evil or something. I don't know. Why, thank you. It's very true. If you don't learn the histories of the past, you are doomed to repeat them. My goodness, so much, so much talking. Ah. Oh dear, I'm running late. Good day. Pray do not forget your assignment, your highness. Homework. Get on your homework. Did you just kind of sit out there the whole time they talked? It's awkward. Oh. Hello there, Teresa. Yes. Did you have a question for me as well? No. I mean, no. Good day, Professor. <sighs> Can I do anything with people yet? Hello. I think you have to actually get through the uh, prologue to do that. So we're going. Hello. I don't know where we're going. <coughs> oh, we're going in here. It's to the it's special inside. archives. <laughs> you look quite eager today. Mm -hmm. When I heard the original copy of the Church of the Flame, a complete history I've been telling to our archives, I simply had to see it. Oh man, I don't get so crazy about uh, rare books, I'm afraid. With... Sign the book, go into the archives, read a book, all's good. Actually... <laughs> oh. I, that was a little excessive there, my friend. 
He's feeling tit titillated by this conversation. Or by the prospect of books. Alright, let's get inside the library. You probably can't find it, and then that's gonna like spur on this whole thing. Oh, oh the tome was nowhere to be found. Did someone not someone return it to the wrong shelf? I'm not here either. An interesting doc. Interesting. We gotta figure out who stole this book. Professor Old Are they gonna accuse him? Kick him out of the academy? Gonna lose his uh, tenure as a professor. The truth is, I see many. Th All right, let's go. Let's get on with it. We got people to fight. Cyrus Ulver. Do. Uh oh, this guy sounds bad. He has a picture of himself. He's absolutely bad. People that have giant pictures of themselves in the room are not uh, to be trusted. That treatise on arcane study, sir. I, I'm not talking. You went out of your way to cite one of the the knowledge housed in the. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. That's yeah. He's definitely the bad guy. I'm fully aware of the value of those tomes, headmaster. You are to share nothing. But that goes against enough. Oh, he totally lost his tenure. The headmaster sees knowledge as a medal. Knowledge is power. Yes. My sincere apologies, headmaster. That is all. Who's the lady friend? She just eye candy, or she actually have a personality. I heard the special archives will be closing early. Good gods! Thank you for your con. Okay, so we gotta we gotta figure out what's going on here. And. What's the matter? Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello. Sure is. We going back now? I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, I'm supposed to go back to the library. Library it is. Did she find the book, or is it missing? A moment. My I'm afraid not. Dang, where did that book be? Say it is not so. Actually, I don't think it would be easier to steal a king a from the or steal the crown from the king's head. I think it'd be easy for someone who has the keys to just. Take the book. Just mm. Exaggerating. Okay. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Get on with it. We gotta find the missing book. I see. And headmaster's gonna be cracking down on us because of something Teresa said. Leave it to me. Kind of awkward way to accept that Take compliment. Care. I'll not deny it, <laughs> for I am a genius, and the game is afoot. Okay. He can scrutinize. Okay. Scrutinize everybody. How about you? Here's a hidden item. 
scrutinize you. Also has a hidden item. Let's go inside here. There's nobody to scrutinize. Nobody to scrutinize. Um, what's in here? Nothing. Scrutinize you. We have two remaining. We gotta go scrutinize some more people. Gotta go find more people to scrutinize. What are you? Sick. An inspiring pl Oh, hello. A soul stone. Are those the hidden items that are appearing because I'm scrutinizing fools? Where's this soak? Oh, I saw it. There it is. Got it. Hey, treasure chests. Don't mind if I do. How much money do you have? 2,500. Okay. Um, here's another one. We need to find the the princess and Teresa. Mm hmm. A boucler. I think I have a boucler. Anybody in here? Yep. I think they're a church or something. Scrutinize. Where are these hidden items? Oh, hello. An olive of life. And something in here now too? Yeah. A small cup. Okay, fair enough. Let's go inside. There's nobody else in here. Um, Nobody else to scrutinize either. Yes, we can. Oh, there's another hidden item up there. Did we actually check everybody in the library? Ah! Okay. Splendid. It's Russell and the Librarian. Not exact. But it's the headmaster and the guard. The only two keys to the archive. One belonging to the headmaster, one belonging to the guardsman. Did I not actually uh the headmasters? No? The guardsmen. Not exact. Why was it the guards? He hasn't visited the office the archives today. Okay. I'm not very good at this, apparently. I'm actually even sleeping while in active duty. A hole. Let the key off this person. So somebody stole it from him. No, it's not the guard. Uh -huh. He has no motive. The person who understands the mode or the most is the light is him. Yeah. Which means our villain is Russell. Yes. Oh, that dastardly Russell always stealing things. Shall we begin? Ah, okay. And now I think we get to have the party. Sick. Back. Sick. 
Sick. We have a three-person party. All right, let's save it, and then uh, we'll end for now. It's a little bit shorter episode than the other two, but uh, we now have a third person. We got wrecked in some challenges. All good stuff. And with that, this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.